Hi there beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It's an exciting day for me. I'm gonna stuff up my vacation binder, get it ready for our upcoming vacation. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go! Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope y'all had a good weekend. And if you were one of the ones, the lucky ones that got today off an extended weekend. So today we're going to be getting my vacation binder ready for our upcoming vacation. We leave this upcoming Saturday. So I wanted to go ahead and get my vacation binder ready. So that's the last thing I have to worry about for the rest of this week so we can pack and clean and do the things that we always do prior to going on vacation. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is what are you reading right now? Well, right now I'm not reading a book at all, but I do plan to take some of my favorite books with me on vacation and I'm going to read as many as I can. I am, mm, I cannot wait. My favorite, all time favorite series is The Vampire Academy and the spinoff of that series, Bloodlines. Mm. Rachelle Mead is great. She is a great writer. So I'm going to be taking some of those books with me and I'm going to read through as many as I can. It used to be a favorite thing for me to do on vacation. The past two years we've been going with friends, so I haven't really had a lot of time to read. But this time it's just going to be me and my family and I will have lots of time to read and I cannot wait. But what about you guys? What are you reading right now? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so here is my vacation binder. It is completely empty now, so I got everything out of it so I can start fresh, start new. Um, what we're going to do is fill this up with the things that I need in it, including the envelopes, and we're going to then get all of the money that we saved in my vacation envelope here, and we're gonna move it over to my vacation binder. So, to begin, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm putting in here, and then once we get those things in, we can start putting the money in. All right, so first up, I am going to be repurposing these tabs that I have made. I made these about two years ago when we went on vacation two years ago, and this thing is not going to move. Oh, yeah, it will. Okay. And they're just tabs, so I have the budget, the food, the fun, and the plan for the vacation. I know, super cheesy. Um, and these things have moved over the years. It's fine. We can just position them back. <laughs> but I'm just going to repurpose this. No need to fix something that's not broke. So I have these four different tabs that I pretty much live out of when we're on vacation. I am going to start with the budget and I went ahead and made some new so I did get a bunch of these like loose leaf papers that fit in an A6 binder so these were perfect I went ahead and made new ones so I retired the old ones and these are the new ones so we have all of my categories dining gas dining groceries drinks, spending, fun, miscellaneous, and then just one extra page just in case I need it. So that's going to go into the budget tab here just to help me keep on budget and track of what we're spending as we spend it. The next up is going to be food. So what I like to do, um, and this probably won't get used as much, but what I usually like to do when we're cooking and things like that is go ahead and pre-plan out at least the dinners. Um, if we're going to be cooking for breakfast, then definitely plan that out as well. I have one for every day that we're there, and then I have a grocery list um, page and then a few extra pages in case I need it. So we're not going to be cooking as much this time. We plan to go out to eat once a day. Um, so this may or may not be used, but we'll see. 
Next up will be the fun. And this is something that I just like to put all the information I need that I've researched prior to the location we're going. So I'll put everything about the lodging that we're staying in here. So I'll have the location, the address, the check-in time, check-out time, the phone numbers, and any important information we need to know if there's like rules or requirements, especially like at checkout because sometimes some people have like a whole bunch of things that you got to do before you leave. So I do have that there just so I have it on hand in my binder. And then I do have a couple of pages for activities. So I'm going to do a little bit of research this week on my downtime, if there is any, and just find some activity type things that we might want to do. So I can put those there. And same thing for like with restaurants. Usually I would put that in the plan, but if I find any restaurants that I definitely think I would like for us to go check out, then I'll put those in here as well. So I do have some extra pages for that. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'll fill those out on my own so, you know, I'm not doxing myself a little bit there. And then last up is the plan. I'm just going to put these blank pages in, nothing on there, so that as we plan or I need some paper to write some things down, um, I have that ready to go. So now that I've got all of that in, then comes my envelopes. So the original ones that I had, I'm going to definitely repurpose. As you can tell, they have definitely been used. These little tab parts are, you know, they've seen better days, but they still work. They still get the job done. And I know I put a lot of work into these, so I'm not going to undo that. So we do have our gas. We have our dining. Our groceries. We have our miscellaneous, and I'm just going to keep these all in order that they come with the tabs that I made. And then we have spending. And since I didn't have one for drinks, I just made like a mock one real quick. I put that in the other tab for drinks, one for fun. And then I just got a envelope that doesn't have... Um, any zips for the receipts so it'll just be easy to toss in there they're not the prettiest looking ones but they'll do <laughs> and then I've just got this backboard just to kind of keep everything straight from bending so there's all of the tabs that we had saved up for and that'll it'll do it'll do I did decide to keep this on these do not have zippers because I don't need them all I do with these is where the tab is, obviously it's not going to zip, and then I just open it like that, get the money out, and then I can just zip this part right back up. It's easy to open when they've already gotten um, the tabs here, so I just zip that part up, and it keeps the money safe and secure from like falling out or flinging out and it works. So all I would do is just put my finger in there and then open it right up and it's very easy, very fast. And it doesn't take up a lot of bulk with these zippers. So that's what I'm going to continue doing with these, but these do not have tabs. So a lot of money is going into fun and I did not want that slipping out. So I figured I can, I can use one with a zipper and it'll be fine. And then we have, of course, the receipts. And I didn't want this to have a zipper because I know there's going to be a lot of receipts. And I just want to be able to shove that in really quick while I'm standing in line paying for things. So let's just go ahead and start stuffing this up with the cash that I have. I'm so excited. We'll also write down our budget as we go so that I know at the beginning of our vacation what our budget is for each category that we have. So let me go ahead and grab out this envelope. I'll just take the tabs out. I've already taken the 500 out of here um, that we used at Sam's, which ended up not being enough. So um, that money is still in my uh, account, or not my account, That's, that money is still in my wallet. And um, we ended up having to swipe, so I will take care of that on Wednesday and our WTF Wednesday. Okay, so let's start with travel, which is gas. And we have saved one, two, three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred dollars for gas. 
So I'm going to write that in here as our budget, our starting budget, 500. And my hubby just got home, so hopefully the dogs do not bark. But that is our first starting point for gas is $500. And yes, we go with all cash because we budget better that way. If we're swiping, we're swiping, and we're not, you know, calculating or paying attention to anything like that. And I don't want to do that. So next up, we have dining. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this is groceries. Let's go up to dining. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hundred dollars for dining, which is a big budget, but we're a family of five and I wanted to over budget just to make sure we had enough money to do the things that we wanted, which was go out to eat every single night, let somebody else cook for us and us not worry about that. So 1600 now going into dining. Next up is this groceries tab that I had right here. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. So I'll go back here to our groceries. And that is six hundred dollars is our starting balance. And then miscellaneous, we have $100 here. That will be our miscellaneous tab. And then next up is our spending tab, which is right here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 1500 dollars for spending. So that's good. We probably are not going to end up spending all this money, which is fine. We can bring it back home and reallot it in other places. Then we did have drinks, so I did have a little extra cash for any drinks that we might need. So $200 going into here. And then we had fun, which is right here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred for fun. which is why I kept the uh, zipper on because that's a lot of money. I don't want that accidentally slipping out. And then we've got receipts. So I can put these tabs back into my vacation envelope that we used to save for. And I'll go ahead and put these back in the front. And then this will be ready for the next vacation. All right, so we've got everything stuffed up there, and we've got all of the budget ready to go. So gas, anytime we spend gas, I'll just write it here, what we spent, and then our new balance in there so that I don't have to keep counting it while we're on the road. Um, same thing with dining. We'll do the same deal just to keep a running balance so that we know. Groceries, we got that one. Drinks, we got that one. Spending, yes. Fun and miscellaneous. We're doing good. We've got everything we need for that. I'm I'm really excited, honestly. This this is a uh, much needed. If you know and you've been around, you know 
how much needed this is. All right, so I've got all of that done. And then what I do like to do is I have this right here. This is for the change and I attach it up here. I'm gonna have to move it back because it's kind of thick right now. But I have this and then I just attach it here so that I have a place to put all the coins and it's all together. It does get pretty full so I may have to end up like emptying it out throughout the vacation. Um, but it stays in here. It's good to go. And then once it starts getting full, I will just let it hang out like this. And that also works as well. So that's what I use that for. And it's got like, I got this at Bucky's, the gas station, I think. And it's got this side right here. So you can put change and stuff in that. It's also got this side right here, so I can put change and stuff in this side. I could also put my ID up here if I wanted to do that, which I don't. I think it's like after the zip, yeah. I could do that. Um, but I also have these right here for my ID and my our cards just in case um, something happens and we need it. And then I also keep a pin always in here so that I have everything to go. I will sometimes either put it here um, or here and it fits just fine right there. So we are all ready to go and I just keep this in my book bag. Um, when we do go out, I do try and just take out what we need so we're not taking everything. Um, but I try and be as safe as possible knowing I'm carrying around a lot of money with us. Um, but yeah, we, we've been doing this for quite some time and we know how to do it and to do it safely. But that is about it. That's all I have for you today. Um, this kind of came with the, a set that I had and I was like, well, why not? Why not, right? <laughs> so we're done. We are ready for vacation. What do you guys think? I think that... I think this system has worked well for us for the past two years, so I just wanted to keep going with that. Um, if you guys have other suggestions and want to tell me what's worked for you guys, I am definitely all ears. I have about six days, well, probably like five days to be realistic. Um, so if I could make any changes based on some of your suggestions, then I've got a little bit of time to do that. But Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it's a short one because there's really not much to do other than what we've done here today, but I did want to bring you along this journey with me as we get ready for vacation just so that you see how I'm doing it, how I'm making the cash envelope system work while we're on vacation. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Wednesday. And I think that will be the last video I do prior to our vacation. And the main reason for that is because I just wanted to give myself enough time to definitely pack and do all the things that I want to do without having to worry about filming and then posting. And then I also didn't want to pre-film. So you're not going to hear from me all vacation unless I get a little bug on my butt and maybe go live at the beach or um, make a little video montage of the beach and post it for you guys. It just depends on what I've got going on while we're on vacation, but just expect that you probably won't hear from me until we get back after um, this upcoming Wednesday. I'm going to miss you guys. I really am, but I'm also going to enjoy this vacation to its fullest with my hubby and my children by my side. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great one. And as always, until next time, bye.